One of the more common questions we get asked in the LDS Journal Help Center is how do I add photos or how do I add images to my journal entries? Well, this is actually a feature we've had since we launched the service in 2008, but we can understand that maybe some of you overlooked this because it's called footnotes. And we're going to show you the two most common ways that footnotes are added to journal entries. Now you'll notice that we are on March 3rd, 2010, and we are in day view. Now we're going to show you how to add a journal entry from the actual journal entry screen as well as from this day view mode. So for this example, I'm going to go in and while in day view, I'm going to choose to click the options menu and edit this entry. Now when I'm taken in the actual journal entry mode, you'll notice that if I scroll down, there's a button called add a footnote. So I'm going to click that button to kind of get you a quick view of what you're going to see when you go to add a footnote to your journal entry. You'll notice that you can add photos, scripture references, quoted text or hyperlinks. But for this example, we're just going to add a photo. So I'm going to click the Browse button, and I'm going to add a photo from my computer, and we'll use the one of the Hawaii Temple. And I'm going to add a caption, which says, uh, you know, kind of, Hawaii Temple is always beautiful, and wish I could go more often. Now when I add this footnote, a couple things are actually going to happen. So I click the Add This Footnote button at the bottom of this screen, and you'll notice over here it says Uploading. So what's happening on this end is the photo is actually being uploaded to the LDS Journal servers, but we're also optimizing the photo and resizing it and saving it to the servers. What does this do? It optimizes the storage that's actually associated with your account, but also keeps the photo at a high enough resolution so that if you choose to print your journal to a bound book, the photo quality is going to be not noticeable and very good for your printed journal. Now you'll notice down here that the photo has been added. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save this journal entry. I'm going to save and close and get out of here. And we're going to show you how to add a footnote from this actual day view, which is the second way that you can add a footnote to a journal entry. So you'll also notice that when you're viewing a journal entry in day view and you place your mouse over the journal entry, this kind of gray lined box appears around the journal entry and you also get this options menu in the top right corner. We're going to click that and you'll notice that you have a few options and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the one called add footnote. We're going to click that option and you'll notice from this section the same add a footnote manager kind of box pops up and you have the same options as you do from the actual journal entry view. We're going to browse again and I'm going to add a photo of Steve Reed who's our art director. Uh, that's a photo of him from the Time Out for Women in Houston. So for those of you that were there, I hope you stopped by and saw Steve. And we're going to say Steve is always great with the ladies. I'm sure Steve will appreciate that when he sees this video. And we're going to add this footnote. And again, what's happening is the photo is being uploaded to the server, it's being optimized, and then it's being added to the journal entry. And once this is all done, you'll notice that the photo is added to the kind of footnote manager and footnote list that appears on the right hand side of the journal entry when you're going in to kind of create your journal entries and add more journal entries for a given day. And so you'll notice that the journal entry completion is done, the photo of Steve has been added to this footnote area on the right hand side, and there it is. You have a very simple way to add footnotes two different ways in the LDS journal system. If you have any other questions, please feel free to shoot us an email or go into the Help Center and make sure you look at the section called Managing Footnotes. It'll probably give you a few more tips and tricks to help make things a little bit easier for you. Thanks a lot.